<laughs> I bought the beans. I'm actually excited. Samsung are going for something no one else has tried and frankly, a very neglected area in the headphone scene. Isolation headphones are like this, you know, they're earplugs that go right in. Some folks can't stand the feeling of these. Talking while wearing them sounds awful and uh, they can get gross too. Not to mention potential ear problems from stuff and wax down the backs of your ears until it's too hard to clean out. The AirPod Pros, I mean, they're a similar setup, but they don't go nearly as far in. It just needs like a simple seal because all the noise cancelling happens electronically with software. But even this really clever halfway house isn't suitable for everyone. I know lots of people like to do their listening at work, but they can't wear isolation headphones. They have to be able to hear someone calling out to them or have to be aware of their surroundings, but you know, they just want some background music while they work. The AirPod Pros have a pass-through feature so you can hear like they aren't in there, although it sounds a little bit robotic and odd. And the original AirPods, I mean, they're just dirty buds on stilts, right? No seal, no noise cancelling, but maybe this shape doesn't fit your head. I feel ya. You know the old saying, if they don't fit, they sound like shit. I've tried headphones that don't fit. They sound bad to me. These fit my ears great. It's why I like them, but I get it. You know, this shape is weird. But what if you literally just hate the stem? on these guys, or even less than that, you purely just don't want to give Apple any money. The beans. Speaker is at the bottom, so it almost seems upside down to regular headphones. No rubber tips or anything, except for these wing bits which you can swap, which I'll get to in a bit. In the big headphone world, you have closed backs and open backs. Closed backs keep the noise out, and they usually have stronger bass, but the sound can be more, you know, closed in. Open backs may not be as bass heavy, but they sound super wide and 3D. You know, they call it sound staging. So here we have the closed back, and now open back true wireless earbuds. They don't seal, they just sit on your ears. But I mean like, why am I getting so excited about this? Because they have active noise cancelling. So open back style, stemless, true wireless headphones that can also cancel noise. That is wizardry. And it gets even better. This logo right here. AKG. Uh, who's AKG? Uh, just the inventors of open back headphones in the late 50s. I even have a pair of them. AKG, made in Austria, the home place, mate. K50s. Whoa. Basically, AKG are the guys for open back headphones. So beautiful. And they've been steadily improving over the years. They never rush their flagships out, mate. You wait for those babies. From their mad electrostatic K1000s to my favorite pair to use for mixing and work, which is the K. 712s. Awesome legacy of research and development since headphones birth, basically. So we basically have the smallest open back headphones being tuned by the creators of open back headphones, while a big tech giant handles the electronic noise cancelling in an original idea no one has tried. Mate, I'm all in. So unlike the Raycons, the case opens all the way up. So they're easy to get in and out. Classic magnets holding them in. You know, standard stuff. They pair up like any old Bluetooth buds. You just open them up, sit them there, and they're already trying to pair up with someone. And uh, they synced with my iPhone stupidly easily. And I was easily able to swap between them and the AirPod Pros without any fiddling. So nice. Here in Australia, they are cheaper than AirPod Pros, just by a little bit. Well, if you buy direct from Samfam like an idiot, no, don't look for a deal because I've already seen specials on these. No buttons, but they have touch controls. You don't have to take them out of your pocket. You know, again, Nice. Uh, they take practice to wear them right, like it's super weird. But when I finally got them in, they actually have really nice bass. Not big woofy bass like Ray's Con over there, but like it was deep. It was like boom, way more than these beans should be able to put out. And that's what we want right there, USB-C. And um, the case isn't disgustingly cheap and nasty, and it has wireless charging. And that's it! I'm all out of nice things to say about these. And believe me, I tried hard. I took them on walks. I brought them into cafes and noisy environments, walking along my truck ridden road. Piles and my friends have tried them. And from this point on, it's just gonna get really, really sad. So the case isn't cheap and nasty, but it's not nice either. Towertronics Sound Liberty 79s. There you go, freeze here so you can find them. The top sellers on Amazon, Artings rate them the best under $50 true wireless headphones. And mate, I stumbled into them and I think they sound fantastic. These are around the 50 buck range, right? You know, and they're not a symphony of quality either. You know, they're, they're cheap. They're actually cheap. But hey, they have like a two-tone texture to the case, which gives, you know, it gives the design a bit of contrast. By looking at the Beanie Buddies, basically the same as the Taltronics, only it's just the same flat texture all over. You know, even the logo's just screen printed on. Taltronics actually put a little bit more effort in. But worse. Look at this wiggle.
300 and what dollars Samsung? Try and get a wiggle like that out of the AirPods. And dang it, these are a year old. Use as earplugs are all my gigs dropped hell knows how many times. I mean like proper drops from like head high onto concrete. You know, the AirPods blew out and went running. Tight as a drum. This is out the box wobble. Wonder why they're still perfect? Look, Apple put in a metal hinge. They knew where it was gonna break first and overbuilt it. It's got the hinge of like cheap Amazon headphones. Also, these are like a bullet. These are slightly hollow feeling. My drum hardened, gym ruined, calloused hands just feel, ugh. Uh, they stay in there good, right? La ti ta ta. <laughs> These boys are waiting to run away. So the bass is good, which is true. They're adding extra bass, but it's okay. It's not super boomy. But these honestly sound like a soundbar rig for your TV. A stick and a subwoofer. Really nice bass, but tinny thin everything else. It's like the mids don't even exist. It's not awful. At a first listen, they seem okay. But then you put the AirPods in. <laughs> these don't have heaps of bass, right? They're really balanced and clean. They're almost like reference headphones. And I can understand why some of you might not like how they sound, you know? But worse, the AirPods sound wider because the top end stuff is way better. So like the sound isn't awful, it's just mediocre. People have complaints about the AirPods too, but these guys make up for it with the amazing noise cancelling. You know, it's so good that I was using these as earplugs at gigs. My old Bose Quiet Comforts couldn't even keep wind buffering out on walks. These guys were shrugging off snare drum hits. Paired with the balance, maybe boring sound, and it totals up to a really good experience. But noise cancelling, this is a bit I'm the most excited about right? The sound is okay enough that they'll totally be saved by good noise ca- oh, put them in backwards. <laughs> Especially since they don't go in your ears, you can just talk to people normally and then just press a button later and make them go away. These would actually exist in their own category. Dang it! It does nothing. I thought I was wearing them wrong, which I'll talk more about in a bit, but I had them in perfectly and no, it's like they literally do nothing. I got insecure until I read some other reviews and they too were saying it's like it doesn't work. I live right on a main trucking road where the rent is cheap and the trash blows free. The AirPods blocked them out really well. With these, the trucks are so loud, it's actually painful to my ears and startling. Even sitting in a cafe like the rustling of cups and chatter was too much. The only time I heard a difference was in a quiet room with the aircon on. It turns it from brrrr into tss. So not quieter, just different. <laughs> and basically it barely works even if the room is already quiet. These guys will basically knock the aircon out of the room. Like, I went in so open-minded, I wanted to be dazzled. The AKG, the Samsung, you know, like two really powerful companies. But then I'm just looking at them. I'm like, of course they don't block any noise. There's no ceiling or anything. It's just as I thought, but I really wanted to believe Samsung did something wonderful. You know, if they called it noise cancelling, you know, doing more reading, they're like, oh, it just cancels a little bit. But like, everyone sees noise cancelling. Best fact about the beans noise cancelling, right? You lose eight hours battery life if you use it. That's hilarious. It's like burning money to stay warm. So unless you're in a quiet room with an aircon on, you might not even know that it's on or off and just be burning your battery for nothing. They ain't even loud. It's amazing how much volume you need to get anything out of these. So with all the background noise as well, you're basically just gonna be maxing these out a lot. You know, so they're open back headphones, I'm stretching that, I know. But then sadly with none of the sound benefits. But it's okay, they still have the traits of open back headphones. Just the bad ones, like noise bleed. Have you ever sat next to someone listening to music and it's like you can hear the music as if you're wearing those damn headphones as well? That's noise bleed. Open backs love bleeding out, it's part of their sound. You can literally shine light through grados. <laughs> so your roommate and strangers can hear the noise escaping, but you hear that as well. It's part of the big wide sound as effectively you hear the echo that comes from these. These bleed out so bad, but because the top end is all squished and thin sounding, you don't really get any soundscape benefits. You just broadcast your music to everyone, which you will be doing because you have the volume all the way up to barely hear them anyways. To those of you insecure about your music, these are your worst nights. Mess. I actually had to use a mirror to make sure this little bit, where is it? This bit is tucked into your ear properly. And it's during this process that you will meet the touch controls. They put all the touch controls at the very top. Basically the point that you want to grab to help fit them properly. First impressions are everything, right? When I put these in for the first time, the, the world just went and silent. Like to people who haven't used active noise cancelling before, it's super fun and it's almost a little bit magical the way it uses microphones and phasing black. Like an idiot, I paired the beans to my phone before putting them in. So as I was learning to fit them for the first time, I had Paul Simons, you can call me out going, da, da, 
that 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 you can probably go headache inducing. <laughs> Samsung, did you even try these for yourself? You put the touch controls in the perfect spot to cause maximum frustration. The top bit's the hardest bit to fit right. Every time I go to adjust them, I stop my music. When I pause my music and take them out, I accidentally start them again. Removing them from the case will press buttons to start music. It's like a hot cup of coffee with no handle. I can't touch them anywhere. Yes, there is app support to turn this half-baked trash feature off, but now we have even less features for our 300 and what dollars Bud Samsung. Well, at least it has no stems. Apple put the touch controls on the stems, which is really easy to use. You just squeeze it and it works, and then you can adjust them without touching the controls. We're nowhere near done yet, boys. It gets worse. So the case is a minimum effort, good enough, Jobbo. Well, it's not good enough. The case isn't just a case, it's their home. If you want to bring the beans, man, you got to bring the can they come in. And look how thick it is. It's the Raycons all over again. Top down view, the airport look bigger, but it's the thickness that counts. I wear skinny jeans, right? Sue me, whatever. And these stick right in your leg. Apple knew this. They went to really big lengths to keep this as thin as possible. The cavities are super deep and there's as little waste as possible how close those two together are. And all the parts move so close together. And look, the lid extends beyond 90 degrees in that tiny space. All to keep it as small as possible while being as easy to use. You know, like actual engineering efforts. Let's look at the case for the beans. You know, no wonder why they feel so hollow. Look at all these big chunks of wasted space. There's nothing behind that, by the way. It's just empty. The hinge is so sad. No engineering effort made to make the case just as important as the buds themselves, which is how it needs to be. It's not a case. It's their home. It's part of the deal. And with the bronze, it actually looks like a cheap makeup container for children. I'm not even done. Even the box sucks. Look. Apple's been just putting a thing on a box and just going, look, it's a thing. Check out the AirPods. This is, they've been making stuff like this for a long time. AirPod Pros, you know, of course they do that. Same sort of deal going on, you know. Are we ready for the bean box? <laughs> Like, come on, Samsung, get your own identity, mate. At least Apple sent us the font. This is the look of someone comfortably in second place. Book, doodler, they keep the jargon on here. I've already pinched the Apple sticker, soz. They give you this really nice little quick guide. That's it, that's all you need. They're just headphones, but then hiding under here. Look, we've got all the bud bits, so you can make them fit your greasy head. <laughs> I wish the bean box had like a ring pull, like big beans. Oh. <laughs> Oh, they just don't open up like an Apple box. There's a cable hiding in this thing here. Uh, I don't think there's anything underneath here. Just a piece of double-sided tape that gave up very easily. You also get these things because the tops of the buds, where are they? That's the hardest bit to get to fit. They give you these to like adjust them, like to put different size ones in there. Now, like I know if they don't fit, they just sound bad, right? <laughs> and this isn't very intuitive looking, right? So I sort out the quick start guide. We got, we got this package, right? You get this warranty mess, right? Which is every friggin' language. And uh, you know, it's just copy paste from their legal department. My favorite, don't we love reading long winded, hard to read tiny books? Oh, sign me up. Oh, I can't wait. Ah, quick start guide. It's like a phone book for mice. Look, they printed every single language and just gave it to everybody. It's basically just copy paste from their engineering team. Like it's just, so clinical, give them all the info and just leave them to figure it out sort of thing, but not actually. Right, because how they fit is paramount. I thought there'd be a whole section about the changeable fitment bits. There's a bit about fitting the beans themselves, but no, nothing about the changeable bits. Only there's a little bit of text here saying, don't mess it up. So yeah, I guess these aren't important. I love that. Look how tiny that hand is showing you where the touch spot is. Never mind that your whole finger is bigger than the dang things. And it says like, for more information, go online. What, you couldn't give me enough information with all of this paper? Thanks, Apple. That's actually like super colorful and looks kind of fun to read. And like, you just get right up the speed. Cheers, mate. And they managed to do it in all the languages as well. I made sure to try these on heaps of my friends, right? And at best, they said, 
oh, they're okay. Then they tried the Taltronics and went, oh, wow. And then upon coming back to these, they went, oh, I don't like them. My personal trainer, a good friend of mine, he's a dirty bud daily driver. He's the one who got me into the mindset that he can't wear isolation headphones at work. Someone might be pinned under a heavy bar and he has to go and rescue them. He was so excited for these and he hates Apple and he's a big Samsung guy. He brought his Samsung Galaxy over, he put them in and all he said to me was, I am sad. But what the heck? This says sound by AKG. Why does it sound like it was made by OKG? Warning, we are reaching critical sad. So right, so if you're under the age of 30, please go to bed right now. I don't care what time it is, wherever you are in the world, mate, just go straight to bed. AKG was founded in the late 1940s, started chuffing out good stuff. In the mid 90s, AKG was bought by Harman Kardon and they kept on trucking. But in 2016, with sales down, Harman Kardon cut costs everywhere and basically AKG gone. Then the whole lot, Harman Kardon included, was sold to Samsung. All the AKG engineers are gone. They haven't made new pro stuff since. The K812s are the last of the breed right before it all ended. You know, no researchers. Production of what they already make is being moved to China. Basically, the recipes those guys figured out to make great headphones is just being sold to the cheapest manufacturer. You know, they used to be handmade. Basically, Samsung just slaps a name on anything they like. It's their brand now. They're allowed to. If AKG wasn't part of the deal, I bet it would say sound by Harman Kardon instead and then sound exactly the same. It's basically just sound by company we own. And I'm not just being an Apple fanboy and bashing, I have tons of Samsung stuff. My ultra wide love that thing, 4K telly love that thing. I use Samsung micro SDs in my mod bills. If it's good, I'll use it. These aren't good. But this is just another case of Samsung's tacky marketing and sadly it works. I only know about these because all of you brought it up when I mentioned I love my AKGs. Big fan. The brand is dead, guys. The former engineers have actually run off to start Austrian Audio, if you're curious. Like, that's where they are now. And no lie, as I was filming this, the door knocked and I, I, I can't fit it in. I actually ordered some of their headphones. <laughs> like, they just arrived during filming this. So, the Sammy Beans are... Really mediocre sounding, hard to fit, slightly cheap feeling headphones with horrible touch controls for a massive cost considering they are just like the noise cancelling doesn't work. They don't have noise cancelling to me. But then at worst, they're parading the corpse of an audio legend to get people to think they sound amazing. They don't sound awful, but these aren't AKGs. And actually, let me fix something. <laughs> no, I'm not going to one grid them, but I am going to do something very important. Whoops, whoops, I missed. There, that's what they are. Samsung Sound. I might have missed there. But yeah, that's all they are. You know, I tested them against the Tautronics, and these smash these. Even the bass is better, but it's just like a conventional earplug style headphone, but for around the 50 buck range, right? I actually sometimes prefer these to the AirPod Pros. My friends agreed. No one wanted the beans over these. But that's it. You know, big thanks for watching. Big thanks to my patrons, especially these stinky names right here. You know, I don't have to do lame sponsored spots. You know, I bought these. Shame on the beans. But for $1 a month, I directed videos and like no light decided during the filming, I'm actually going to unbox the Austrian audio headphones. <laughs> you know, this is where AKG is, right? And you know, these weren't cheap, but there's special things about them that I'll discuss. So maybe this will be a horribly boring after show. I don't know, maybe next week's Patreon will be better. I don't sell myself too good, but I'll see you all next time. Don't look at me like that. This is for your own good, right? Oh man, I wouldn't trust this guy with my car keys.